So we're back with another macro photography video. You seem to like this last time. So we're going to compare the budget macro setup that we did in the last video, which is the Canon 600D with the kit lens, with a flash from China off eBay, with the extension tubes and the homemade flash. And then we're going to compare that to an actual macro lens. This is the 100mm f2.8 from Canon in the 5D Mark III and then we're going to use a studio light and I'm actually going to use a beauty dish because that's what I've got set up behind me. The fans just kicked on on it so I'm not too sure if you can hear that but what we're going to do is I want to compare getting a photo with this compared to the other setup so I was thinking if we put a couple of these 10 P's side by side they're the same sort of size as the five cents in America. So that'll give you an idea. So we'll stick these on some blue tack and then see how far away you need to be to photograph them. Because that makes a big difference with photographing bugs. Because the further away you are, the less likely they are to fly away. And then the main reason I got this is because I shoot commercially the products vary in size, so recently I've been photographing candles and they go from tea lights, which are that sort of size, to big like pillar candles, that sort of size, which when you say it out loud is a bit of a, a niche problem, but depends on what you're doing, so we'll compare the two. So I've got the camera set up now, we're at f10 on both cameras, so I've taken the two shots and I've tried to go for something similar on both, just sort of fill in the frame. And they're not exactly the same, but they're quite close. And the main difference, as you can see, is the background. It's all blurry on this one, and it's sharp on the actual coin. Whereas on this one, the budget setup the coins in focus and you can still see some of the detail on the wood and the other difference is how close the subject has to be so with the budget set up it's got to be about half the distance so on the 100 millimeter it's about 15 centimeters away from the lens Whereas it's about eight centimeters with the budget setup. And then if we go back to what I said at the start of the video about going from small objects to bigger objects, you can go from a coin, which is if you're doing bug photography, that's sort of similar to the size of a spider. And then you can go from that and then go a bit further away. Maybe look at a field of flowers. Like a patch of flowers, which is similar sort of size to that greetings card. And then you can go even further away as well. All in seconds. Whereas with this setup, you're sort of limited to that shallow depth of field there. You can just change lenses and quickly get around that. But if you're doing it 60, 70 times a day, it does get quite annoying. But most people aren't going to be doing that. I just pulled these onto the computer now as well. And this one on the left, that's the budget setup. Then this is the actual macro lens. I'm not sure if it makes a difference because the, that's an older coin. So it's not quite as sharp. But it's good enough to compare. And both of them have a lot of detail. I don't think you can say they're bad, so like detail wise. The main difference is the background, and that just comes down to what you prefer. I quite like the budget setup one. I'm not a big fan of the everything being out of focus. I don't think there's a massive difference though, like in terms of what you can do 
If anything, the budget set looks sharper. Hmm, actually no. It's quite soft down the bottom. But that's quite interesting to see. There's not as big a difference as what you'd expect really. So I hope you found that helpful. There isn't as big a difference between the two as you'd expect. It is a bit more difficult to get the same shot with the budget setup. Like you got to change extension tubes or change lenses, but it saves you a lot of money. So that's a good thing. Um, I know that some of you are probably gonna whinge in the comments saying how comparing a kit lens with extension tubes and a flash from China isn't comparable to a full frame camera with the macro lens and the studio light. But I think it is. There's about four years between the two setups for me. What I'm using now is what I wanted to begin with. And you read all the reviews and you think that's what I need. But for the most part, it doesn't make that much difference. It, for work stuff, it definitely makes a difference. Like it's more time effective and more versatile. Like you can go from this small object to a big object in, in like seconds rather than having to change everything around. If it wasn't for that, I'd be happy to stick with the budget setup. And it's a lot more fun with that because you don't expect to get good results. So when you get something, it feels pretty good. Whereas with the actual macro lens, it's sort of expected. So the end result is sort of what you'd expect. For a bit of fun, the budget setup's pretty good. And if you wanted to work with it, the actual macro lens is better. So if you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. And if you wanna see more of my work, uh, go over to adamcafe.co.uk. I've got greetings cards, which I had a little shameless plug of before, and prints of all my late district views. So I'll see you next time.